Hello, everyone. Uh, indeed, uh, the, the Oscar ceremony is much more easier because you are expected uh, to say, oh, thank you very much, then cry. And I am expected to speak for more than 15 minutes in English. So you see, it will be a story about a woman who has her head in the clouds, but she is trying to keep her feet on the ground. It will be also a story about a town, historical, beautiful, small, called Cheshire, and the castle. The uh, Cheshire was a capital of uh, Cheshire's duchy for ages. And uh, as uh, happened very often in the history, the towns and the castles have a better time of prosperity, but also have a time of poverty. This old orangery was built by Habsburg in the 19th century and destroyed in the 60s. The ruins of uh, the castle and the empty space uh, of orangery was a really good uh, starting point uh, for idea to create a completely new castle. Now, one of the most innovative places in Poland. That's the castle. Oh, wait, that's the empty place. You see, it was a lovely parking place for citizens of Cieszyn. And now the castle. But believe me, it is not so difficult to rebuild even the castle it's much more difficult to breathe life into the building. So let me tell the story, how did it happen that in small provincial town, Cheshire has about 35,000 of people, the first regional design center was created. And uh, it was, uh, in fact, thanks to ambitions and beliefs. It was in 1999 when in Poland uh, 16 new provinces were created. It was exactly the second step of local uh, government uh, reform. And among these uh, 16 provinces, the Silesian region was created and belongs, in fact, to the biggest region with its population of more than 5 million people living there. The government of new province, from the very beginning, have been fighting against stereotypes which shown the region as the most polluted highly industrialized and not attractive place. At surprising, they chose design as a tool for change. And believe me, it is one of the most effective tools also in regional development. Probably when I say design, you think and you see there's a fancy, luxurious, uh, expensive, and sometimes completely unuseful products which are shown in lifestyle magazines is not that design we are looking for, and it's not that design we promote at the castle. So let me tell what design means. Almost all understand that design is a really good business. What I would like to show is a product, a simple traffic lights, 
produced in local company and designed by young Silesian designer. The new product is much more easier to construct, less expensive, very easy to remove and to repair. And maybe it is worth mentioning that this uh, uh, light uh, traffic are exported to 23 countries all over the world. There are hundreds of different definitions of design. Uh, the latest one given by four years old Marta is that design makes things simple. My private definition of design is that design is a quality. It is really important to underline in such country like Poland, the quality, but driven by expertise, science, and cooperation between specialists from different fields. What you see on the screen, there is uh, the iconic uh, carpet Mohodia, designed and produced in Silesia region by Moho Company. You see very traditional pattern, and you also see very traditional material. It is wool felt, but all, but all carpet is cut by, by water laser. Design has a huge impact on public space, which in Poland, in fact, belong to nobody. What you see, there is just a communication system designed by Silesian, again, designers for a port in Katowice, Peżowice. Very logical, useful, clear, and attractive with uh, violet and green colors. The newest uh, issue challenge for design is uh, designing public services. Uh, and probably it's happened to everybody of you that you can't, with this intercity ticket, distinguish between train number, carriage, and seat number. It would have been so easy to use a proper or different typeface, different size of letters, or even pictograms to make this ticket understood for Polish tra travelers, but also for foreigners. I think that uh, we already know something about added value for businesses, but we know almost nothing about how strong power has designed for social economy. This uh, small object, it is piggy bank. Simple, funny, designed for a couple to invite you to compete in saving money. Uh, there is a part of bigger project, uh, thanks to the Institute of Adam Mickiewicz, the group of uh, Polish young designers from Art Academy from Warsaw and Holon Institute of Technology from Israel, were working together and designed and made prototypes for social foundation in Cieszyn chosen products and this piggy bank are now manufactured by homeless and jobless people in Cieszyn. That's the nice story. And this is the way 
to come back to Cheshen. And to the fundamental question, why we promote design in such a provincial small town? And the answer is easy. Why not? <laughs> when I met uh, Peter Witz in 2004, so just before we opened the, uh, the, the center, full of that and full of fur, how it could be to design, des to design, yes, design center far away from the centers, from the biggest media, businesses, art academies, international firms. He told me, who knows where Coca-Cola is made? Be the best. People will find you. It is not very easy, as you can suppose. We've been looking all the time for different fonts. These uh, graphic signs you see, these are logos of uh, our European projects. We've been uh, realized with uh, local government, companies, association, public administration, from handcrafts to newest technologies. But as you are really aware, funding is important, but it's not the, it is, is not, uh, the most important, because much more important are people with their enthusiasm, work, beliefs, and dreams, and we are people, and we have dreams, and we still have uh, some ideas, words to be uh, realized. So because of the rapid development of the castle, we got uh, the new, oh, wait a moment, that's this, you see, the new building, quite ugly. There is an old, uh, border post from 60s, located exactly on the borderline between Poland and Czech. The first sight we greet you in Poland. And we do have plans to change it with the great help of famous uh, Polish Silesian, again, architect, Robert Konieczny, to have much more comfortable place to organize, for example, international events on the border. We hope we will do it. And uh, we hope that we will get this uh, chance uh, again. Because uh, I do believe that if you can dream it, you really can do it. Thank you.